Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about night vision in Star Citizen and how to turn some of the dark corners of the verse from this to this. We all know how beautiful Star Citizen can be with its star-speckled spacescapes and blooming horizons, but sometimes the verse can be a dark and dangerous place with nary a speck of light to guide the way. Some of the most challenging lighting situations crop up when spelunking into the deep caves scattered around the verse or just approaching outposts on the dark side of a moon. While these locations can be a great source of loot and mission income, they are incredibly dark and tedious to navigate for a lot of players, especially when ship instruments like the altimeter rarely work in the current patch. In everyday life, night vision has been used since the early 1900s and has evolved over the years for military and even civilian use. Almost anyone can get their hands on this type of technology in 2022. Unfortunately for the Star Citizens hundreds of years in the future, quality of life tools like night and thermal vision are currently still missing within the game. These tools have been a long time asked by the community and the subject of night vision came up again during a CIG livestream where Todd Pappy confirmed that CIG does plan to add vision enhancing technologies into the game. This is good news and hopefully we'll see a native solution sooner than later, but it will likely be some time before we get there. As it stands today in Alpha 317.2, navigating the dark is currently limited to headlamps and flares on foot or brief scanner pings and anemic headlights while in vehicles and ships. Of course, we can always crank up the gamma and brightness in the game, or adjust settings on our monitors or graphic drivers, but what if we could create a pseudo night vision effect using CIG approved tools that can be enabled and disabled on the fly in the game as required? We spent a few days live on Twitch trying to answer this question with the community, and we designed a few working solutions which I'm going to share with you today using a supported tool called Reshade. What is Reshade, you may ask? Reshade is a post-processing tool for games that allows control over things like color correction, anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, depth of field, sharpening, and more. As of 3.17.2, Reshade use is supported by CIG. They sanction one specific Reshade version via easy anti-cheat allow list per Star Citizen release. This ensures that Reshade versions, which could allow advanced features like depth buffer control to see through walls, for example, are not being used by the community. Many Star Citizen artists have been using Reshade for years to increase the visual appeal of their works or make the game pop a little more. If you're on any of the Star Citizen social media sites, you've likely seen Reshade at work numerous times without even realizing it. One of our good friends, Mr. Haskaha, is one of the more well-known artists and his works and use of Reshade are phenomenal. While I don't consider myself a master with the tool, even with my limited knowledge we were able to create two night vision presets that you can use depending on the situation. The first preset is a classic green monochrome look that works really well when approaching outposts on moons like Yella, where there are a lot of white elements in the dark. The second preset is a bit brighter and a bit more grey shade, but still lets some of the reds and blues peek through for situational awareness. This preset works well in really dark spots and will also let you see the status of things like quantum markers or the alignment of NPCs and players approaching. I think these examples outline how important an in-game feature like night vision will be and I look forward to an officially implemented solution as it will obviously look much better given their ability to highlight things more specifically just like when we use the scanner ping. Keep in mind these presets are not the be all and end all solution and are simply meant to enhance the player experience in the majority of cases. Even some of the very pitch black areas like Klesher's escape tunnels will still be a challenge but they should be enough to stop you from crashing into moons or getting lost in caves at the very least. Installing Reshade is fairly straightforward now and no longer requires modifying any files after installation as it did in previous Star Citizen patches. Head over to the reshade.me website and download the version required for the current Star Citizen patch. As of 3.17.2, the supported reshade version is 5.3, but be sure to check the patch notes if you're watching this in the future. If you're not using the specific version CIG allows, Easy Anti-Cheat should stop you from launching the game. Run the installer and point it to the Star Citizen executable file. Note, you will have to do this installation separately for PTU installs as well. Select Microsoft DirectX 10, 11, 12 from the options and click Next. You can either select a preset file and have Reshade only install the effects required for that preset, or you can skip and select any specific effects you may want to install. I chose to install all effects during testing to try different things out. Once complete, launch Star Citizen and press the Home key to bring up the Reshade configuration menu. Read or skip the tutorial, and then on the Home tab, select the location of the Reshade preset you want to load by default. If you only plan on using one preset, 
you can create a key bind for the effect toggle key on the settings tab, which will disable or enable the active preset. Another option is to use multiple preset files in the same folder and then switch through them using the next preset keybind. This way you can start with a base preset with no effects or light beautifying effects and then switch into the night vision presets as necessary. We've uploaded these night vision presets on the Reshade website under the Star Citizen game category. I'll place a link to those presets in the description below and also put them in our Discord if you prefer to grab them there. Again, I'm not a Reshade master and we simply use some effects that seem to do what we wanted. Feel free to experiment and let the community know if you come up with some even better solutions. Let us know in the comments below what you would like to see from CIG as far as official vision enhancements and how you would like to see them implemented in the game going forward. Also be sure to check us out live on twitch.tv slash redlear for nightly Star Citizen testing and gameplay and come join us in the verse. Thanks for watching.